Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a flip through of my Erin Condren planner for 2018. Every spread in here has been completed, I believe. So we're going to go through here. And we're going to look at everything. And it's so exciting. So this is the planner that I had. Or the planner cover that I had for 2018. It has all these cute little llamas. So cute. And my covers. Since I plan on keeping my planner. Um, I'm going to keep the cover on here. They're interchangeable covers. But I'm not going to interchange them. So this is going to stand here forever. And it's got the little llamas on the inside. So on the inside vellum, I just stuck a bunch of die cut stickers. Um, these are all ones I've made. These ones, uh, the designs were from another shop. And then um, those ones are from the Cherry Blossom uh, planner bundle. So I kind of just stuck them around so that you can still see like through the center. I don't know just to give it a little pizzazz. And then this is blank. I don't plan on writing my name there. I don't care. Then you have that, blah, 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 all that good stuff. I don't have anything there. So this is my January monthly spread. <laughs> yeah, um, I think every single one of the monthly spreads I used Erin Condren stickers for, like I would use one of the, um, individual sticker sheets that she sells and then also the monthly sheets from the monthly sticker books um but this was my first monthly plan with me in here I don't think I was like I wasn't keeping up with my monthlies in 2017 so it was a little bit like I didn't really know what to put in here so this is all that's in here <laughs> and then this doesn't have a spread because it was in um these two don't have a spread. Why doesn't this one have a spread? Oh, I think it's because I got my planner late. Like, I ordered it right before the new year or on the new year or something like that. And it took two weeks to get to me. It was like a little ridiculous, but that's okay. So, at least I don't have anything, but I'm okay with that because, I mean, it's not like it's some, like, spreads, like, in the middle of the planner. So... If you guys can hear scratching, I apologize. My rabbit just got a new, we got her a new hutch, like a new bunny hutch, a wooden one. And she is still getting used to it, so she's like nesting in it. She's like, she keeps scratching the bottom to create like a little nest with all of her, like, the, like the wood shavings that are on the bottom and stuff, like the soft wood shavings. And she keeps trying to scoop them up and create a nest. So I apologize. <laughs> So this was my first spread in this planner, and this is a kit from <sighs> Formless Designs, and in the first part of this planner, there's a few Formless Designs kits, just because at one point I had bought so many of them. So this one actually turned out really cute. I like the colors. There's that. And then uh, this, you can, you'll see that my, let me zoom in a little bit, that my planning style changed a lot through the year. Um, so at the beginning of the year, what I was doing was anytime I had a full kit, or like a kit that had enough stickers, I would do a no white space spread and with checklists at the top. And then if I had a mini kit then I would do it like this so the top would still be the checklists um, but then it would just be like a more the kind of uh, structure is the same but you know it's a little different so this is one of my older kits I really need to make a kit with this art again um, so this kit isn't available but I should probably do that because it's cute. It's kind of like a lazy day. I think it was, I actually called it lazy weekend. I don't know. I don't remember. But there's that. 
And then there's a couple notes pages that I did. I don't want to really fill them out much, maybe one of them, but I made a couple notes pages kits just to test it out, but eh. So there's that. It's not filled out, but it's decorated. Uh, my February spread, and it's um, a little more filled in than January, not by much though, really. Um, but it's nice and like soft and dainty. Again, um, these are all Erin Condren stickers, so. Another um, Formless Designs kit, and again, the same no white space format. I think this is another Formless Designs kit. <laughs> I was using a lot of them. Trying to use them. I like, seriously, I had a whole stack of them at one point. Um, this is a Valentine's kit from last year. I think we're going to bring this back this year in the new format. Because it's cute. This friggin' cat is my favorite. He's so cute. So, I don't remember what I called this. But, again, same format. This was a mini kit. Um, and I guess I brought in like a million habit trackers. <laughs> another formless designs kit there you'll notice there are like a lot of places where the checklists aren't filled out um and i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna go back and fill them out that doesn't bother me just either i didn't need it for that day or i you know wasn't really keeping up with my planner on that particular day but either way that's a memory in and of itself so there we go so another formless designs kit and this is where I started putting the deco at the top um, I had done it before in like memory spreads like rewind spreads but I don't I hadn't done it in my weekly or like my normal planner yet I don't think I think this is the first time I did it I can't remember uh, uh, more notes blank notes pages so March, here's the March monthly, and we're starting to get into some, like, more things going on, being a little bit more creative. Look, I've got some letter stickers going on there. Are these sticking? Don't stick. Another Formless Designs kit. Um, I don't remember what any of these kits are called, but... <clears throat> I don't think that they're available anymore. I'm not even sure if her shop is up right now. Maybe it is. I have no idea. I haven't bought from her shop in a long time, so I really don't know, but I don't think any of these are going to be available. Sorry. That's really cute, this little cat. So cute. Um, this uh, was one of the spring kits I came out with for 2018. Um... I wrote in my dates. Did I like forget my date dots and then I didn't want to go back and find them or something? I don't know. But there's probably going to be a few spreads in here where there's no date dots because I just forgot completely about them. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's so cute. Look at all these cute little critters. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back with this. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back with that. A lot of these kits that are mine are ones that I want to re-release because they're so cute like this one um, this was the explore kit and this was the mini kit I don't know why I was using so many mini kits from my shop because I know this one came in a full kit unless I used the full kit in my memory planner and was like eh I'll just use the I don't know I guess I was like on a mini kit kick that um I believe no I'm not sure where this this was a, a a kit from Etsy this is an Etsy printable I just don't remember where from I will try to leave links to all of the other shops um 
that I used kits from. Um, not every shop that I use stickers from though because that's going to get crazy. But every shop that kits are from I'll try and link them down below. Um, so I'll try to go through my Etsy like purchase history and find this. This is really cute. But again the no white space look. But you s there's no date dots on the Explorer one. <laughs> Funny. And then another notes page that has nothing filled in, just stickers on it. Here's April. Oh, it's so pretty. And everything, like all whoosh, a watercolory. Yes. My husband's birthday is in April. My sister in law's birthday is the next day. But yeah, starting to get a little bit more fill out within the monthlies. Um, this was another uh, formless designs kit but it didn't it wasn't like one of the fuller kits like this it was kind of like I don't know it was missing some some essential type things so it didn't have any headers so I took this washi and I uh, put it over like headers and, like over the three main sections it didn't come with bottom washi and date covers either so I um, didn't do any date covers I just put the deco up here which I thought is really cute and then the bottom washi what is that there's like a pen mark here I don't know how that happened um, the bottom washi is just like normal washi that I layered and put some some of the deco stickers on top of um, I believe this was a planning choco kit but it's um, Peter Rabbit, and isn't it so sweet? Oh, I love this so much. This cute little Peter Rabbit. This was the week that um, I think this was. No. Was it? I thought this was the. Let me see. Let me see something. Okay, so this is my son's birthday week. I thought we went to see Peter Rabbit for his birthday. Maybe not. Because I thought that I used this on the week that we went to see Peter Rabbit. I mean, it's not in here. I don't, it's not in here anywhere. That's weird. I don't know. Strange. So another white space spread with one of my kits. Very cute. This is like the weather one. Oh, really like that. Another, I don't know, what was I doing with all of these? white space spreads because this is so not what I do now um I didn't use my checklist at all on this week or on the second half of this week that was bad about filling those out I guess um this was another kit from my shop I honestly can't remember what I called anything so bad um this one's on the tip of my tongue though heartland yeah I called this one heartland another uh, formless designs kit I swear you would think that it was like a super huge formless designs fangirl um, but again this one didn't come with the bottom washi the um, like headers and date covers so these date covers are a printable these ones were from a, sh a blog these are like a free printable from a blog from like a million years ago. And the headers are um, marble headers that I had in my shop a while ago. And then the washi is just normal washi layered. Um, and then the habit trackers were again another like free printable from a blog. Probably the same one as this. This purple one is actually like came with the day covers. There you go. The monsters are so cute. Look at those monsters up there. And then another notes page. This one actually has some stuff filled out. I think I like filled some things out and then forgot about it. 
um, but I did design these notes like page stickers I don't know if I'll I don't know I don't know if it's something I'd do in the future but if it's something you're interested in you can definitely let me know and I might think about it yeah maybe um yeah so May is very filled out May the 4th be with you and then I used a lightsaber sticker I think that's from Once More With Love and then Cinco de Mayo I used a taco sticker from Once More With Love I really like this it's really like filled out and looks good um this was the Space Wars kit from my shop <clears throat> the mini kit I think this was a mini kit exclusive The little BB-8. It's so cute. So cute. And this was a planning Choco kit? Maybe? No. This was from No, it was from a different shop than this one. I don't know. I don't think this was, this is not Planet Chaco. This is a different shop. But this was also an Etsy printable. So I'll try to find the, this shop and link it below. Another formless designs kit. Um, again, I pulled in the date dots and date covers, glitter headers, washi. This one has like purple foil. Mm -hmm. I actually like how this one turned out. The colors are cute. This one was, I have videos on, I think, probably all of these. So if you're interested in seeing any of these spreads, you can just go to my Plan With Me playlist. And literally everything's going to be in there. Maybe I should start a new playlist for 2019 because that one is probably massive. Whew. Alright, so this one was where I challenged myself to use... Um, products from a I'm blanking, I'm blanking Studio Calico. Oh my gosh, a Studio Calico, um, like kit thing. I don't think it was a planner kit, I think it was just like an embellishment kit. I had bought a whole bunch of stuff from Studio Calico, I think earlier in the year or maybe the end of last year. They had like some big like blowout sale or whatever. They have a lot of those, but uh, so I got a bunch of random stuff from there and I challenged myself to use pretty much all um, Studio Calico stuff except for like things from my sidebar because obviously like they didn't have anything that I could use for that So I pulled in the habit trackers and the weekly box and this date covers date dots and the Actually the washi on the bottom was Studio Calico. It's like they were washi stickers, but I did pull in the uh, little things so I mean this one's actually like not too bad like it's a little chaotic, but I mean, it's not too bad. I really love this, like, is this supposed to be a dove or a pigeon? I don't know. I think I'd kind of like it if it, like, more if it was a pigeon, but it's probably a dove. But, yes, very cute. So, I abandoned the notes pages. My June monthly spread, it's so bright. So summery. I love it. Look at the, the foil. Oh, there, there, mm-hmm, there you go so pretty this is like almost the only source of foil in my entire planner is for my monthlies um maybe that was a planning choco kit because this is a planning choco kit i'm pretty sure maybe it's not but i thought it was i think she like reformatted sometime this year started doing things a little different but i was pretty sure this was a planning choco kit I don't know. We'll double check. Some of the more recent ones I'll be more familiar with. Some of my more recent spreads, but this was a <clears throat> um, Beauty and the Beast themed kit, and it's so pretty. Oh, 
I just love it so much. Um, and then I was like doing the deco at the top. I wasn't, I was kind of just like, I don't know, sprinkling small bits up there. I don't know why. Um, another formless designs kit. I was like really bad about this week. I was like just not using my planner at all this week apparently, but uh, I did pull in the date covers, date dots. Um, this weekly box, the washi is just regular washi. It's a weekend, an old weekend banner from my shop. Um, the little things were, I think, multicolor little things from my shop, like old ones. And then the headers are, um, some silver foil headers that I had made myself mixed with, um, the marble headers. So... If there's any of, like, stuff from my shop that you guys see in here that you're interested in, let me know because I'm going to be, like, I, I, mm, I'm going to be designing a lot soon. Hopefully. Hopefully. So, there's that. This one, I'm not sure where it's from. If you know, go ahead and comment down below. But this was a free printable from a blog. Um, I'm sorry if you guys can hear my rabbit. She's scratching really hard right now. Like, she's, she's going crazy. Um, but I'm just gonna truck through it, hoping that you guys can't hear that. <laughs> um, this was a free printable from a blog. I don't remember what blog. Somebody down in the comments probably knows, I'm sure. So if you do, go ahead and tell me. Um, I forgot date dots on this week. Go figure. But this is really pretty. Another formless designs kit where I had to pull in, like, a lot of the, like, base stuff, so... Everything down here, day covers, headers, sidebar stuff. <clears throat> July, oh, so pretty. It's got, it's got some silver foil. Oh, look at that. I really like how July turned out. Very cute. I'm really confused. I, we're almost like... We're six months in, and I haven't used a single full kit for my shop. I'm a little confused here. Was I using them in my memory planner instead? I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. But I guess I was on a, a white space kick for a while. Um, so this was the... Alo... Was it? Did I call it Aloha? I think I did. The Aloha kit... Um, one of the old kits from my shop. Um, so none of these designs that so far that I've mentioned that are mine are current designs in my shop, but if you see any of them and you like them, let me know down below so I can try to bring them back in the new format. But I was really good about filling out this week. Mm, I'm proud of myself. And I even remembered the date dots. Look at that. I was on top of it. This is definitely a planning choco kit. Is it not? I swear it is. So this was 4th of July week and um, the sticker doesn't really match the spread too much but for like marking 4th of July I use like a big fireworks sticker. So because I didn't have any like planner stickers that were 4th of July related or even I mean I could have used one of my like I could have I had something never mind I had something but I forgot I had it. Um, they're the stickers, the, like, patriotic stickers that I had painted, like, hand-painted. Um, and I totally forgot I had them. My brain sometimes is just, like, a confusing thing. So, I'm pretty sure this is Planning Choco. There was another shop that I bought a lot of printables from at one point. Not as many as Planning Choco, but there was. And I, maybe that's from there? I don't know, but all the shops will be down below. But that was really cute. I like that. I like the, there's like a three, like a three box long little scene thing here with the hat and the drink bottle. This was a Formos Designs kit, which I like the colors, but the art is not my favorite, but I mean, it's not too bad. It's, I mean, it's not bad. It's just not my favorite. But this has a mix of those silver foil headers and then silver glitter headers. Oh, 
This is definitely a planning choco kit. This is for sure. 100%. So I think those other ones might be from another shop then. Um, but this was my birthday week and I didn't have a birthday kit, but I wanted to use something that I felt, I don't know, represented my interests and pastel and unicorns. Um, definitely my interests. So I did a no white space look with this kit and it's so, so cute. I love anything pastel, anything unicorn. I've got the heart of a 10 year old. This one was another um, free printable kit. I believe this one was, yeah, this one was actually formatted to be a happy planner kit, but I hacked it a little bit. <clears throat> so the date covers are tall so that they can cover the dates in the happy planner. Um, but they actually fit in the air and you just, I mean, you can't put any like deco on top if you wanted to do that because they take up a lot more room, but they do fit. Um, the checklists and full boxes and stuff were a little long, but that doesn't matter if you're doing a no white space spread. The bottom washi, because the, the width of the boxes for the Erin Condren and the Happy Planner are the same. The bottom washi, um, on the Happy Planner is shorter because there's no gaps. So all of these would be like squished together and you would be missing like half an inch of space on each side almost so what I did was I took the large chunks of bottom washi and I centered them on each side and then I took they had like thin washi strips so I took them and I cut them and stuck them vertically on the sides so that it covered the gap and like unless you're staring right at it like your eye doesn't get pulled to it because all the colors kind of like blend together down here you know what I mean? I mean, it's probably super noticeable on camera. But in real life, if you're, like, looking at the actual spread, it's not something that your eye gets pulled to immediately. So, that's nice. Um, again, I'm going to try to figure out what blog this is from. I don't know if the blogs that I got the free, printal, free printables from are still doing free printables. Because I haven't, like printed any free printables in a long long time these ones were actually not even printed in 2018 the two that i used in here they were printed in i think in 2017 maybe even earlier than that they might have been printed like at the end of 2016 <clears throat> oh it's been a while so that's that it's really cute though lots of fruit very summery there's August. I love the colors of this. Okay, first of all, like the foil. Okay, the foil. And then the top with the cacti and the succulents and all of the yellow. And ugh, it's just, this is, this is my kind of spread right here. This is it. I love it. <clears throat> so this one was actually really fun to do. And I want to do more of these throughout the year. It's just kind of hard because I've got like, I have so many kits that I want to use and and stuff like that but I had been neglecting like you guys saw I've been using like all Etsy kits and two free printable kits but they're all kits I've been neglecting all my other stickers because you know I was using kits every week and I was using kits in my memory planner and I didn't really have a planner where I was using these in this fashion like just stickers like random like freebie stickers on freebies, uh, happy planner stickers, like in my happy planner sticker books and stuff. So that's what this spread is. There is a video on it uh, in my plan with me playlist. This was a no Etsy kit challenge. So I did use Etsy stickers, but no kit. And the more majority, <laughs> the majority of these are from like happy planner sticker sheets. So this was really fun to do. And the bottom one, look at the unicorns. When I was like, while I was doing this spread, I was like, oh my God, I hate this. It's so incohesive. It doesn't all look right. Like the colors are just too crazy. Nothing's matching. But now when I go back and I look at this, like it doesn't look too crazy. Like it looks very like rainbowy and stuff, but I feel like there's still 
kind of like a cohesive color scheme going on like it doesn't look too crazy you know what I mean it looked real crazy when I first did it but I like it now like I really like it this is a planning choco kit and this was I think no not the week that my son started kindergarten but the week before it I think yeah this was the week before I had two school kits <clears throat> that I wanted to make sure I used um, so I used this one uh, the week before he started kindergarten so cute look at, is there a unicorn purse so cute look this is me this is totally me so that's really cute um, I also marked that the Meg came out but uh, I never went to go see it in the theaters and it's out on like DVD blu-ray and stuff and I still haven't seen it <laughs> And I really want to see it. <clears throat> so this was a formless designs kit and this was the week that my son started kindergarten I believe. It must have been. Did I not write it? Mm. He started school in August. That was weird. Yeah, I think this was the week that he started school. I'm not really sure why it's not in here. That's super bizarre. But, anyway, it's cute. It's kind of like school themed with cats. I love things with little cats. So cute. And then I put the deco at the top. That's so adorable. Look at that. This was another planning choco kit. Um, I haven't bought any Etsy kits in a while. So, probably not going to be looking like this in 2019 because I need to go on a no spend for like the whole year. Uh, but this is really cute. This was uh, the week of my sixth wedding anniversary. So I didn't have like a celebratory kit or like a, another kit that I wanted to use but my husband and I both really like um, like Japanese art styles and like Japanese aesthetic 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 things so this was I felt like this this worked you know for this week it's very pretty <clears throat> September some more foil some silver and some rose gold foil in there mixing it up And then this was a plenty choco kit. Yeah. This one was a little, this one's really bright. A little crazy, but it's really cute. Okay. Now it's getting fun. Okay. I think that this marks the end of my no white space planning in this planner. This is the last, I'm pretty sure, this is the last no white space spread I did in this planner. <sighs> because of this. This is so... <sighs> I don't even know how to explain how this spread makes me feel. Like, I could just stare at this forever. Like, the fall colors, but they're muted, so they're kind of like pastel fall colors. And the pumpkins, like the pumpkin and the candles and all the coziness and the fall cookies and the, oh, the deco. I don't, you guys, I can't explain how this is making, this is making me feel some kind of way. Usually I put the weekend banner on the bottom, but these light bulbs like on the bottom washi, I just couldn't bring myself to cover a single one of them. So the weekend banner is up here in the spread. This is definitely one of my favorite spreads in this entire planner. If not my favorite. It's so, oh my god, so blinking pretty. Oh, this was um, my um, white space September 
challenge. Um, the only reason this week that's technically under the September tab isn't no white or isn't white space is because um, it only has the first two days of sep or September. So I kind of counted this as an August week, and I was like, I'm gonna get all my no white space jitters out and just do it right here before I start white space September. <clears throat> and then each week in white space September, I had a challenge for myself. So I think this one was do a white space spread with a full kit. And then this one was um, to use, um, was no Etsy kit. I think this was no, like an, a no Etsy kit challenge. You guys, okay, the, f I take it back. My monthlies are not the main source of my foil. <laughs> this. These are all like recollections stickers and this washi this top washi is from the planner society the bottom one is probably recollections i think it was actually meant to match this um collection but oh, this collection came out when um michael's was first starting to really get into selling the um like planner stuff they I think they had planner stuff before you know like happy planner stuff but this was when they really started coming out with like recollections planner collections and stuff like that so freaking cute oh my god I can't I can't I can't even killing it hail yes you're the pineapple of my eye so this <laughs> this spread includes two things that I don't like in real life, but I like when there's motifs of them. <laughs> that would be pineapples and bulldogs. I I don't know what it is about bulldogs, or French bulldogs, or bulldogs in general, but these are French bulldogs. I don't know what it is about them. I just don't, I don't think they're cute. I don't like them <laughs> in real life. When there's like a drawing of them, I think they're kind of cute pineapples I don't like pineapples in real life the only way I'll eat I'll eat pineapple in two ways only um candied pineapple and um the dull pineapple sorbet stuff from Disneyland that's it <laughs> otherwise I hate pineapple it's gross but oh, I think this this has got to be in my top this is top five for sure for sure for sure and then this is actually a, a white space spread using a mini kit, which I was, this is my new mini kit format. Um, I was actually surprised at how far I could stretch this mini kit and it looks like I used a full kit. So that's pretty crazy. <clears throat> but this is the pomegranate mini kit from my shop. And this was a mini kit exclusive, so it was really pretty. I'm starting to get into the fall vibes, which is my thing. I love fall. Um, this one I don't remember what this one was. Um Oh, you know what? This one was a no Etsy sticker challenge. Like no Etsy stickers at all. Um and then this one was a no Etsy kit challenge so I based my kind of colors off of these full boxes that were from pretty sheepy and they're unicorns in like lots of different like movie characters so you've got like Hermione or a girl Harry Potter it's Hermione really but she's got glasses on I mean you know um <clears throat> Alice in Wonderland um the Little Mermaid, The Little Mermaid, Star Wars, um, Moana, Wonder Woman, and um, Beauty and the Beast. So the movies, not the not the characters' names. Um, but I did use lots of Etsy stickers in here. I brought in my own washi on the bottom. Um, the glitter headers were a free printable, so were the date covers but I really like how this turned out this is really cute there is my October uh, monthly not much 
like in it, but it's real. I like really, really like these stickers. Super cute. <clears throat> so that marks the end of White Space September, but I kind of just kept it going. Cause I'll no, I didn't. Oh man, I thought I did. Did I do more? Okay. I did more no white space spreads. Oh, shame on me for saying that I didn't. Okay, so this one is a planning choco kit. It's really cute. Um, it's kind of like a weird... Not not weird that the kit is weird, but that it. I feel like because of the art and the colors, it could be used for either fall or spring. Um, but I used it for fall because I needed another fall kit. That rabbit is driving me crazy. <sighs> Apologize. But this came out really cute. I like the pretzel. <laughs> I, mean, I just really like the pretzel. It's cute. And then uh, this one is the Mystic kit. And this is available in my shop right now. Um, <clears throat> this turned out so stinking cute. I love the colors on here. Like, love them. This eyeball my fave box my favorite full box in this whole kit and then I did the deco at the top which I didn't do it on this one maybe there wasn't any deco in the I'm pretty sure there was deco in this one because I put a little piece of deco right there but this is kind of where I really started doing the deco at the top more um, so yeah that's the mystic kit from my shop so you can check that out uh, this was the um, Hocus Pocus kit from Scribble Prints Co. And I was going to save this for my memory planner, but I just loved it too much. I had to use it in here. And I even bought the extra, like, the girl full boxes, which usually when I buy from Scribble Prints Co. I don't do because, I don't know, I don't feel like I need them, but I needed them in this one. This brought this kit from, like, spooky planner themed to it's Hocus Pocus. Like, it's real Hocus Pocus. I mean, there are Hocus Pocus elements and it turned to, like, planner girl style, but I needed the girls. I needed the girls, for sure. <clears throat> and there's actually, I put some gold foil... You can kind of tell gold foil overlays on the full boxes and these are actually overlays that I made myself and so they look real ghetto and jankity um, but like I don't have a laser printer and I don't have a mink so what I did was I took some clear sticker paper I um, <clears throat> ran it through my silhouette so that it cut out um, full boxes without printing anything on it and then I have a toner pen I have a pen that has like toner ink which is what's in uh, laser printers <clears throat> and I just drew inside the full boxes I did like little sprinkles and little dot borders and the little corners and stuff and I stuck the foil on top of it and then I ran it through my laminator and <laughs> that's the result it's not a great result but it was an experiment and I didn't want to just waste them so I put them on here I figured there's like a, still a lot of the black showing because I I'm sure I didn't do it right even doing it wrong I didn't do it right um so there's still a lot of the black on the little dots and stuff showing so I wanted to use it on a kit that was already dark where the black wouldn't look out of place so I used it on here this is really cute. The top. All of the deco was just so cute. Um, this was the All Hallows Eve Halloween kit um, from my shop, and this is available. Like, all of the. This is. We're starting to get into the more recent months, so I think all of the kits from here on that are from my shop are currently available. <clears throat> and these are the new format. So this is using a mini kit, um, and I just used the like heart checklist and stuff. This is, I, I think this turned out really cute. Um, and I used the mini kits in my shop now, do come with day covers and bottom washi, but um, I accidentally gave myself an oops 
sheet of the date covers and bottom washi, so I just pulled in my own. No biggie. It's November. It's got a lot more filled in than October for sure. And it's got rose gold. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like literally almost blinds me when I bring it up to my eyeballs. It's so much fun. Oh, top five. Top five for sure. Um, this is the trick or treat kit from my shop. Um, this is the full kit. Uh, with the glitter header with the glitter sampler I guess add-on and the deco add-on and I'm just like I could stare at this all day this is so cute definitely top five in this planner for me for sure so cute oh my god I can't even get over it like look at all these look at the dragon the kid in the dragon and the cat with the mask like I just can't it's too cute and I I put the um weekend banner up here at the top because I didn't want to cover up the cute little pumpkin face this is the um, Mountain Man kit for my shop. I don't know. I feel like this is top five for me too. I'm going to end up saying top five to like ten things. <laughs> I just love it. I, I think it's so different from most kits that I see out there. And this is, uh, all like, like I said, all the ones from my shop from now on, these ones are available. Um, on my website, not on Etsy. They're available on my website. They might, some of them might be on Etsy. I don't know. <clears throat> but I will be taking my Etsy down soon, so I would shop on the site. Anyway, I just like this because it's just so different. Like, it's, it's masculine, but not, I don't know, masculine, but still cute. And I feel like there's not a lot of kits out there that are... Uh, I don't know, that are on the masculine side at all. Not even just like masculine and cute, like just not at all. And I don't know, I just really like this. Oh, so cute. Toot toot on my own horn. <clears throat> so this is another kit for my shop. This is the... I'm trying to think. Why can't I think what... This one's called. Uh, I don't know. But you can see that I stuck with the kind of the my I call it my no white space white space. My very filled in white space. Um it's not quite as like not quite as white spacey as this although I, sometimes it does look like this but I do use like checklists and stuff when I need them still so there is this one this was the week before Thanksgiving I think no was it yeah it was this is the week before Thanksgiving um, and the week that I flew out to California Oh, I got my little fox and cactus girl right there. All cute. All cute. Cute little hedgehog. So I love that one. This one. So cute. I just filmed this one. So the plan with me for this one will just have gone up last week. But um, this is where I started doing rewind spreads because <clears throat> this was the... Uh, when I went to California, this was the spread where, like, I was in California for the whole, this whole week, um, and I actually ended up getting sick on Tuesday. Like, I got there on Saturday, and then I got sick on Tuesday, and so I, by the end of the day, like, I didn't have any energy to do anything other than, like, sit on the couch, drink wine, and watch TV. <laughs> So I didn't actually, I brought my stuff to do this spread in California, but I didn't end up getting it done. So that's unfortunate, but so I re rewind planned this one. And then I also rewind planned my December monthly because I never got to it. And I really wanted everything to be filled out in this planner, like really, really wanted it. So there is that one. This was another rewind spread, I think. 
lot of these are. Oh, this was the week that our Elf on the Shelf arrived from the North Pole. That was exciting. This is... I still haven't figured out what this was called. No, oh, this was the pumpkin spice one. It was the other one that I didn't know. This one is pumpkin spice. Did I say what this one was? This is fall vibes. Pumpkin spice. Why can't I remember the name of the other one? This is dragons. Um... I think this is the Dragon's Full Kit. I think. But it turned out really cute. And the colors of it, it's like blue, red, and black. And it, I put it in December. Like it's my first spread in December. Um, like as far as it being a full week of December, but I feel like it works, you know? Dragons in December, a little weird, but like as far as like matching it to a Christmassy theme, but I feel like the colors, they they look like they, they don't look too off, you know? You know what I mean? This one I really like. I really like this kit. I don't know. Just something about the, like, the black and gray that just, it gets me. So this is the Silent Night kit for my shop. And this is the full kit. And these are both, um, all of these are all rewind spreads um, because I was sick for a long time and I didn't do any planning or anything at all really while I was sick. I was pretty much just sleeping the whole time <laughs> and it was so awful. I forgot date dots on this one. Uh, go figure. I'm not going to go back and put them. I don't know where they are now. Um, probably in my like little D stash bin, but I'm not going to go through that. That's, gonna, that's too crazy. So <clears throat> last time I used this kit was in my Happy Planner as a rewind spread, I believe. Or maybe it was in my current rewind planner. I don't know. But either way, I did this. I used this kit. But then all of the icons and character stickers and stuff I used, I didn't try to make them like all neutral and go with the kit. They're just like, there's colors all over the place. And it really bothers me. I don't know why. It just really bothers me. So this one, I wanted to make sure that all of the colors were really neutral, really soft, so that they just kind of melted into the spread. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So I'm really happy with how this one turned out. Uh, this is not a rewind spread. That's the end of the rewind spreads in here. <clears throat> this is the Winter Wonderland kit from my shop. Um, yeah. This, let's see, is there anything special about this week? Probably not. Probably not. This was the week before Christmas. Uh, my son did pictures with Santa. We got the turkey out to thaw, baked some cookies, made a gingerbread house. I mean, those are exciting things, right? Um, this, uh, don't judge. Don't you judge. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> I deserve to be judged for this. So this is my um, Home Alone themed kit. Um, for my shop and this is called Kevin and I was really 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 bad about staying on top of my planner this week um, so as you can see like only the first checklist is filled out none of the habit trackers are filled out these boxes are still empty um, for this one since it didn't happen that long ago I do and it's like the whole week is empty I do plan on going and filling out some of these things um, so yeah and then to the last spread in the entire planner and the last spread well is it yeah the last spread of 2018 is a sailor moon kit from planning choco and i don't think that this kit is available anymore when i filmed it and i uploaded it i tried to put a link in the description to the specific kit but she only has her like pastel one up, which is still really cute. Like I can show you guys. It's in here somewhere in my, no, right there. Oh, I turned right to it. So I don't know what the kit is called, but if you search uh, Sailor Moon on her Etsy shop, this one will pop up. <clears throat> and I don't, this one didn't pop up. So I'm assuming that, like I couldn't find it. So I'm assuming it's not available anymore. I don't know. But 
it's really cute i after i uploaded this plan with me i did notice that some of you guys went and searched for sailor moon on my website this is this kit is not mine this is from a different shop but um if you guys are interested in sailor moon items let me know i could totally do some like i'm i'm down for it so uh today is friday today's friday i didn't fill out my checklist for yesterday i'll go back and i'll do that and i also need to fill in the sidebar stuff so no judging no judging and that is the last spread in this planner that is my 2018 aaron condren and look how chunky it is now i love it i'm like this makes me so happy just like just flipping through it especially like the last few months with my new style loving it so that is that thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up i would super appreciate it also go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys next time bye